phrase that he used, it has such clear historical antecedents. Even somebody as poorly read as the former president certainly knows where that phrase comes from, that idea comes from. He knows the, the, the words he's using. Right. He, he's not a very intelligent man, but he does have a reptilian form of intellect that really lends itself to this kind of rhetoric. And he is profoundly, uh, profoundly psychopathic in, in the way that he, can, he expresses himself. And the, if you go back to 2017, like you just did, and 2016 and 2015, the people who first figured out Donald Trump were the historians, the historians of authoritarianism, the historians of international relations, and the psychologists. And the reason that they both figured it out is because they came at Donald Trump from two different angles. One, from the mindset of what the inner workings of his mind, the other from what he says and how he, how he commands uh, the, uh, the, the, the affections or desires of people. And that's the authoritarian part. And what, 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 what we see here is a man with lacking, completely lacking in morality, lacking in, in, in conscience, lacking in remorse, lacking in, in, in empathy, completely a man without a soul. And the type of thing that he is, that the, the, he, the, what he preaches is hatred. And he preaches hatred because this is the way he can save himself and gain power. And right now, he's getting worse. They always get worse. The sociopaths, the psychopaths like a Hitler or a Putin, they get worse over time as they become more and more desperate. And that's what's happening with Donald Trump. We're seeing this rhetoric, the rhetoric of the, of, of, about blood poisoning here, the rhetoric about executing the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and all sorts of, of rhetoric that basically is designed to foment hatred and violence, because that that is what that is in his nature, and that is how he he plans to wield power and to gain it back. It's also. I mean